Hello again there YouTube. Um, figured it's time for a bit of an update video for you guys. Um, now I've had a couple of comments on the uh, videos recently from people asking um, if I could put up a wiring diagram just to show exactly what's been going on um, with the system. Um, now I've put together some uh, graphs which I'm going to be including on this video. Um, it did take a little bit of uh, thinking to put down on paper. Um, if you guys would like a copy of the original graphs as opposed to what's in this video then uh, let me know and I can send you, them to you. Um, I've not really followed any specific um, kind of drawing scheme, I've just kind of done my own thing. Um, I used to do circuit diagrams a few years ago um, but I couldn't really think of a way of doing that for this setup as it makes a use of AC and DC. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for what I could use to draw out um, a kind of more official wiring diagram then please let me know. Um, also any suggestions on how to make it uh, easier to understand again uh, just let me know. Um, so yeah, uh, diagrams coming up in just a second. Um, I will just add that since my last video we now have an extra grid tie inverter in the garage um, and also we now have one in the shed as well. Um, I'm going to be going home to my parents where this setup is uh, on the weekend um, and I'll post up a new video then uh, just showing the changes that have taken place. Um, also I'll be having a little chat about the actual grid tie inverters themselves um, as unfortunately they've proved to be not very reliable. Um, we've had uh, two of them fail um, within six months of being installed. Um, they have been replaced by the seller, um, but it's a, quite a lot of hassle and I'm hoping that the new ones last longer. Um, okay, so uh, here we go, here's some nice pictures, hopefully they make sense to you, those that uh, want to kind of see the whole layout of the system.